I am in such a good mood today because the holidays are officially here. It's the week of Thanksgiving, only four more weeks until Christmas and we have New Year's and it's like the festivities are really starting to begin. So today I thought I'd share a holiday party makeup and hair look with you guys. I really love this makeup look. It has a soft silvery eye and then a winged liner and a classic red lip. What I like about it is I feel like it's festive and dressy without being too like, whoa, look at me or crazy over the top. I feel like I could wear this to a variety of parties, something more casual or something more dressy, and it would fit for both. And all the products that I use for this look are from the drugstore. I had a lot of fun putting it together because I just dug through my makeup collection and pulled out some products that I really haven't used for a while and kind of rediscovered some gems. And then for the hair, I just did some soft, loose waves. So if you'd like to see how I did this makeup and hair look, let's go ahead and get started. Starting with foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This one has a nice medium to full coverage and a semi-matte finish, so it makes the skin look really even and clear without looking dry or cakey. Next, I'm concealing all of the blah areas of my face with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer, like darkness under my eyes, redness around my nose, blemishes, and all that good stuff. Then I'm tackling the brows with my favorite brow pomade. I feel like nice brows are the key to a polished makeup look. So I'm starting with my right eyebrow, which is the devil. This one is crazy and grows weird and never does what I want it to, while my left brow is so easy. I don't know what it is. If you have a crazy brow too, let me know in a comment below. Now I'm going to warm up the face with some bronzer. The NYC Sunny Bronzer is amazing, and I'm applying this around the sides and contours of my face. This has a nice warming effect on the skin. Then for blush, I'm applying CoverGirl's Soft Sable to the apples of my cheeks and blending upward toward my temples. This is a really nice peachy brown kind of color, and I'm also dusting a bit of this on the tip of my nose to create a more flushed, I've been out in the cold kind of look. Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming my lids with the L'Oreal Magic Decrease Eyeshadow Base. I like this one because it's opaque, so it covers up veining on my eyelids. Then for eyeshadow, I'm actually starting with my NYC bronzer because powder is powder and it works pretty much the same anywhere you apply it. So I'm using this on a crease brush to warm up the hollows of my eyes. I think this is so essential to pair with a cool toned eyeshadow to keep the eyes looking balanced and help blend the color naturally up to the brow. Next, I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Liquid Diamond and packing it onto my lid, blending up into that bronzer color. This is a metallic silver and I think it's so pretty. You could incorporate this kind of shade into so many different looks and I'm running this along the outer half of my lower lash lines as well. Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal eyeshadow in Iced Latte, and I'm patting this right on the center of the eyelid to create a pop of light. This is going to make the eyes look bigger and rounder, and this shadow has a hint of gold to it, so it almost creates a silver to gold look depending on the way the light hits it. And I'm also using this to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. Then I'm highlighting the brow using L'Oreal's Endless Pearl eyeshadow. This is a nice matte cream, and I always like to do a matte color on the brow bone when the rest of the eye is really shimmery. Now we're going to attempt winged eyeliner, which is always a tricky business depending on your luck that day, but I found that gel eyeliner and an angled brush is the easiest way to go, and I like to start by creating the wing. I think it's easiest to accurately place if you do it first, and also if you mess up, you just have to swipe it off with a Q-tip rather than remove an entire lash line of eyeliner. So I'm creating my wing, then filling in toward the inner corner of the eyes. For lashes, I'm applying the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. This is one of my all-time favorites. It really defines my lashes and never smudges underneath my eyes. And then because this is a holiday party look, I'm also using some false lashes. One of my favorite lash tricks is to cut a full lash in half and use the halves on the outer halves of my eyes to create a fluttery lash effect. It's a little more subtle and you get twice the use out of a set of lashes. For the red lip, I'm starting with a pencil to create an outline and base for the lipstick to go onto. This will help prevent fading and bleeding around the lips as it wears. Then for lipstick, I'm using CoverGirl's Hot Passion, which is a classic red. You can probably find a shade like this in any brand, and I think it's a really pretty combination with the shimmery silver eyes. 
Moving on to the hair, I'm starting with my Tony and Guy Heat Protection Mist. I love this stuff, it smells good and it doesn't make my hair crunchy. Then I'm going to be creating some loose waves with a curling wand. I'm all about that loose, undone sort of hair look these days. I just think it's so versatile and flattering and it looks good on day two, it looks good sometimes even on day three. So I'm taking sections of my hair and wrapping it away from my face around the curling wand. I'm using the Titan 3 wand from New me. I've used this set for a really long time and I love it. It heats up super fast, it's high quality, and it comes with interchangeable barrels in different sizes, which is kind of Numi's thing. They have a lot of great curling and straightening wands and sets, so you can create a lot of different looks with them. So I'm wrapping my hair section by section until it's all curled. This goes pretty quickly since I'm not being too precise with it. And then when I'm all done, I'm shaking out everything with my fingers. This helps create that volume tousled sort of look and then last I'm finishing with my Tresemme perfectly undone hairspray which I really like because it has a light brushable hold that keeps my hair really movable so that's it for my holiday party makeup and hair look, and right now Numi has some really great deals in their holiday collection. Their sets would make an awesome holiday gift, and you can use the code Happy Holidays to get 20% off the entire holiday collection, or you can get any set for $89 and free US shipping with the code Allison for Numi. and I'll have those codes and links down in the info bar. So there's my holiday party makeup and hair look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll have links to all the products that I use down in the info bar. Let me know what your go-to party look for the holidays is. Are you somebody who goes for the red lip or is the red lip too high maintenance because you can't eat or drink with it? Or do you go for the smoky eye? Like, let me know what your party style is this time of year. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.